On this day in 1992, Tom Boyd made his debut for Celtic. The signing of Tom Boyd in a swap deal with Chelsea for Tony Cascarino was one of the greatest transfer steals in Celtic's history. Boyd had signed for Chelsea in an £800,000 deal in the summer of 1991, but had not really settled in London, while Tony Cascarino was Liam Brady's first signing for Celtic for the then club record transfer fee of £1.1 million. The Republic of Ireland striker scored only four goals in 26 appearances, despite which Chelsea were keen to bring him back to London. No cash was involved in the deal and Celtic indisputably got the best of it. Boyd joined Celtic in the middle of one of the most turbulent periods in their history and they were already out of the league race in third place behind Rangers and Hearts and 10 points off the pace in the days of two points for a win. Only 19,000 fans turned up to see Boyd's debut as Celtic lined up Marshall, Morris, Boyd, O'Neill, White, Galloway, Fulton, McStay, Coyne, Craney, Collins, Subs, Nicholas, Miller. With fans singing Let's All Laugh at Chelsea, Celtic disposed of third from bottom Erdry without much fuss, opening the scoring in 24 minutes after several near misses. The Aberdeen Evening Express reported on the 8th of February, Celtic took the lead in 24 minutes when Jerry Craney was given the space to turn inside the penalty area and slot the ball across the face of the goal and just inside the far post. Ten minutes later, Boyd marked his debut with a booking for what the Aberdeen Evening Express described as a wild tackle on Alan Lawrence. Liam Brady was called out of the dugout by referee Jim Renton five minutes into the second half after complaining about an offside call, but that was as exciting as it got. Craney added a second on 65 minutes when the Erdra defence failed to clear from a corner and he was first to react to drive it home. The Scotland under-21 internationalist was denied a hat-trick after the referee ruled the ball had gone out of play before substitute Charlie Nicholas had cut it back into his path. Almost unnoticed, Celtic had hit a rich vein of form, with Roger Bailey writing in the Daily Record of the 10th of February 1992. Celtic have hit their most consistent spell of the season, with 9 points out of 10. They are in far better shape than they were a month ago, and they're looking forward with justified optimism to the awkward fourth round tenant Scottish Cup tie against Dundee United at Parkhead tomorrow night. The run would continue for another eight games, including away wins at Tynecastle, Easter Road and, most memorably, a 2-0 win at Ibrox, where Rangers were played off the park in a breathtaking display of passing football on the 21st of March. Then came a demoralising 1-0 defeat to Rangers in the Scottish Cup semi-final at Hamden ten days later, and the season was effectively over. Ups were inevitably followed by downs in those years. Tom Boyd was a constant through the rest of the 1990s, a survivor of the Brady, Macari, Burns and Barnes years, and he fully deserved the successes he would go on to enjoy in the latter part of his career. Tom Boyd was the captain who picked up the trophy to deny Rangers 10 league titles in a row in 1998, and three years later became only the second Celtic captain after Billy McNeil to win the treble under Martin O'Neill in 2001. Not bad at all for a player signed in a swap deal for Tony Cascarino.